everybody what's going on guys team remix in the house we have the return of a few people i haven't seen in a little bit good to see some of you guys uh here today and uh we're gonna get working here today so um i'll tell you what tell you what we have on tap here today okay because um I want us to work with our bands. I want us to work with our weights. Uh, we've had, you know, a good month and a bit now to work with our bands and get familiar with them. And your bands have kind of stretched out. So today, I want to kind of review some of the movements that we've gone through. And now, you know, as you guys are doing some of the some of the exercises, some of the workouts, um, you know, be a great time to kind of be like, okay, you know what, this 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 style of exercise, I much prefer using the band, or I much prefer using the row because I know some of you guys don't have. Uh, you know, larger weights to use, or maybe some of the weights you want to add a little bit extra resistance, and I think the bands would be a great way. So we're gonna play around with that, but uh, before we do, we wanna make sure we get warmed up. I wanna get a little bit of a sweat happening for us here today. So let us get ourselves to the edge of the mat, and we're gonna be working just a very nice, easy push-up walk, coming down, and then coming all the way back up here, okay? So we're gonna be doing this for the next 30 seconds, Okay, if you only end up doing like three or five reps, not a big deal. Okay, just enough for us to get warmed up here. Okay, everybody, let's get ready. 30 seconds worth of push-up walks. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Just nice and easy, walking yourself down. And then walking ourselves back up. Just getting the shoulders, the chest, feeling nice and loose, feeling pretty good. I wanna make sure that those hips are not sinking down too low when we work that push-up walk. When I'm in my upright position, I can take my sweet time, but we got 12 seconds left on the clock to get down and up. Okay, I got enough time to do one more. Let's get to it, everybody. And from here, I'm going to pull myself up. Very nice job. Okay, from here, I want us to get our lower half a little bit loose, feeling pretty good. Okay, so I want to go to work our all around the world lunge. And you see guys hiking up my shorts. Okay, we, we, you decide what kind of bend you want, but the bend that I need is that your butt is going back down, okay? And that we're not doing this. Okay, so make sure that we are doing this instead. Okay, so to the right, to the corner, and then behind us being as light as we can onto our toes, okay? Just 15 seconds, so stay as low as you can here, okay? Ready? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Back. Excellent. Just working our way and just working a quick set of taps here. Nice. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna pull up here, okay? Let's get our other side warmed up. Okay, and I'm gonna put my right foot down and my left foot's gonna be doing some work here. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, just a quick set of taps. I, I want you guys to put some of that weight down onto that leg. Nice work. All right, a couple more seconds. Three, two, one and we're gonna rest here, okay? So I wanna do one more just to kind of help open up our hips here just a little bit, and then just kind of work the side of our legs. I want your arms to be active, being nice and straight, and we're gonna just work a nice, easy lateral lunge here, okay? So lateral lunging, sitting down, pushing up, sitting down, pushing up, just like we did yesterday, but a, little, a much more slower paced lateral lunge here, okay? Let's go, everybody. Okay, we can even kind of just put our hands on our thighs if we're not quite ready. And we can support our legs, support our upper body by just putting it down here. Okay, I like to have the hands here just to get, make sure to get a little bit extra tension happening. Good, right? And we are sitting ourselves down, right? Again, just like with that uh, all around the world lunge. Okay, with our lateral lunge, our butt is down and we're trying to sit as low as we can. All right, another three, two, one, and let's relax here. Okay, so let's come on up here, guys. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, almost like a little bit of a experiment for me to kind of see what you like using, um, weights or bands, depending on the movement, and it'd be a great way for you to see that as well. So, for example, our very first movement today is we're gonna be working our upright row game here. 
So we're gonna start off by doing it with weights. Weights are together and I'm going to pull it up and then slowly drop it down. Okay, and creating that nice V shape or V letter as we do this here. Okay, so I'm gonna work 30 seconds. I'm gonna aim to get about 12 to 15 reps. If you end up doing more than 20, you are doing something off here, okay? Let's get ready, guys. 30 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, and I will call when there's 15 seconds left. And for those of you that are maybe using uneven weights, it would be a great time for you guys to make that switch. And this way both sides are gonna be working here because uh, you'll see in a sec, usually we work like, uh, we work the same move twice or I try to even it out because I know a lot of you guys are using just one weight or sometimes uneven weights. 15 seconds, but today it won't be, uh, won't be the same that way. And I try to pull this weight up as fast as I can, trying to drop it down nice and slow. Excellent. Okay, another five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna drop the bands down. And now we're gonna repeat that same movement, but we're gonna do it, okay, with our band. Okay, so I'm gonna have both my feet underneath. And you guys pick the tension of band that you guys want, because I know you guys all have different, different tense bands here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the easier ones. This is my second time doing it here today. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up to my chin or just underneath my nose, and I'm gonna slowly drop this back down here, okay? So I wanna see some good movement, some nice fast movement here. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go, let's pull. Pulling the band up. And uh, I love visualization tools, right? So I think to myself, you know, I think that these are like elevator cables, pulling the elevator cables up, and I wanna bring my passengers down as slow as I can here, right? Making a nice smooth ride for them. But pulling the bands all the way up here, making that perfect rectangle in between. Excellent, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and I'm gonna do a nice easy pull down here. Okay, so from here we're gonna do one more back, back exercise, okay? So we are going to work the fly, okay? So the fly working the back of our shoulders, working our back. I'm gonna place the weights in front of my knees. Okay, and I'm going to open this as wide as I can and slowly drop the, the weight down, okay? And making sure that the heads kind of touch each other. Okay, so let's get ready. Weights in front of your knees, so you're either bending yourself down or bending your knees, okay? But I need this back, okay, to be straight, okay? So no, no crouching backs here, but you guys are all pretty good with that so far. Okay, ready? 30 seconds, everybody. Pull these weights apart. Let's go, open. Right, it's all about the control coming back down, right? So we're not slamming the heads of the weights together at all. And again, I'll call 15 seconds, which is coming up pretty soon here if you guys wanna switch some weights over if you need to. 15 seconds. Okay, another four. Three, two, and that's time. I'm gonna pull myself up. I'm gonna drop the weights to the floor, and then we're going to do the band equivalent movement of that fly, okay? So we can do it underneath our knees, but I much prefer the pull apart instead, okay? So the pull apart we tend to do during the warm up. So we can grab a little bit closer to the center. I want my arms super straight over here, and I'm going to pull this band all the way apart making sure that I flex my back. Okay, like I have, pretending I have a little pen in here, pulling it open, and then slowly driving it forward, okay? 30 seconds, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulling the band apart. There should always be tension here, right? It shouldn't be loosey-goosey in the middle here. A good way to kind of like give yourself an indicator is like you, you, you bring that band all the way to your chest. Okay, should come right across right through the middle here, 
pushing yourself in and that's really what's going to get your back working here. Okay, pulling it straight apart. Excellent. Let's keep going guys. Ten seconds. Okay, I'm looking forward, keeping that airway open. And we're going to rest here, okay? I want you guys to kind of shake it all about here. Let your back, let your shoulders relax here. So we played around with the two movements, right? We have the upright row with the band, okay? And we have the upright row with the weights. Now for my own like curiosity and like kind of see what you guys are choosing, there's no, there's no wrong answer to this, which is which, which style of upright row you're gonna pick right now, okay? So we're gonna do our back one more time. Either pick your band or either pick your weights. And for me, like I said, is just to kind of see like what you guys are choosing, what you think you're getting a better workout out of, okay, out of these two, between these two moves, okay? Same movement, okay, but different tools, right? So uh, I'm gonna work mine with weights just because I have no particular order for it. And the next one, I'm gonna work with the band here. But uh, you guys choose what you think you're gonna get a better workout with, okay? Get ready, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, working the upright row. Let's go, guys. We got bands over here. Okay, so we got a nice fair share of bands and weights. We're kind of split in the middle with this group over here. With the previous group we had, mostly everyone chose the bands for the upright row, so very interesting. Pulling this all the way up. Okay, people working the bands, I need you guys to just come up a little bit faster. And then drop that weight a little bit slower here, okay? People with the weights, so you're already doing a fine job, already just kind of pulling the weight up really fast. Okay, and then dropping that weight slower, making that V shape. Or V letter, should I say, not shape. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna relax here. Okay, so from here, our second back exercise, we are either working the flies or we are working the pull apart. So which one did you get a better workout out of? Okay, pick the one that you think is the right one for you. And I'm just gonna be taking a quick look as you guys do so, okay? Get ready guys, here we go, pull aparts. Three, two, one, let's go pull aparts, or flies that is. Okay, very nice. You guys surprised me. <laughs> Very nice, okay, and we're pulling this apart and making sure that we go all the way, big letter T, and people working the flies, always starting and ending right in front of your knees. Okay, really good job so far. Okay, people working the pull-aparts, maybe we grab in a little bit closer into the band and see if we can pull this even further apart here. Okay, 12 seconds. Three, two, one, and we can rest over here. Very nice job, okay? Usually I find like the back exercises, people tend to kind of use the bands instead, which is natural, right? So it's, it's a, like a pulling motion for us, right? So uh, if that covers our legs, I'm oh, sorry, it covers our back, I want us to do our legs next over here, okay? And uh, the very first one we're gonna work over here is we are going to work our X walk. Okay, so we're gonna work our band first and then we'll work the weighted equivalent to this one. Okay, so I want to work this X here. Okay, so bottom triangle, top triangle looking the same and my feet are always running parallel and I wanna take a big, huge step to the side but then a mini step in. So this way my shoulders, oh, sorry, my feet always remain shoulder width apart here. Okay, so let's work this. Okay, next 30 seconds two, three steps, four steps, five steps, however many you can manage here, okay? You ready? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. I was telling the other class, um, bands are probably one of the biggest tools that a lot of like professional athletes will do, especially the X-Walk, one of the most popular and most common exercises that you'll see if you Google or YouTube uh, LeBron James training. 
he's using exactly the same red band as we're using right now and doing exactly the same style of X-Walk. A lot of tennis players will use this for their lateral movements. A lot of baseball players, pro baseball players, using the exact same style band that we have here. Okay, and working this movement. Of course, they're kind of doing like little other things in between, but they are working out with the same tools we are. So what's good for them, I don't see why it isn't good for us. <sighs> I'm just gonna pick up my speed for these X-Walks just a little bit for another five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna untwist very carefully and bring this down here. From here, okay, I'm going to work my sumo squat game, okay, working the side of our, of our glutes, side of our legs, two weights or one, okay, but coming down and I need to see a good pop up here, okay, so it better not be the same speed as we go down as we come up. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Exhaling as we come up. Oh, nice. We got Shauna, we got Sue, you guys are working fantastic over there. Okay, can I get a little bit more speed? A few more reps, let's try to get real deep into these now. Okay, pushing into our heels. Nice, 12 seconds, let's see if we get six, count six. See if we can get six in 12 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, and we'll drop this down here. Excellent work. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my band again, and we introduced, we introduced this one here uh, last week, okay? So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, okay? And I'm going to hook my bands around my shoulders. Two ways we can do it, but I'll show you my preferred way. Get into my squat, okay? And I push this up here. I make a little hook with my thumb so that it doesn't like choke my neck, right? So I can kind of keep this away from me and I'm working a standard squat here. Now I also showed a lot of people don't like that style. Okay, so instead they will wear their band like a big necklace or put it over their head like a shirt and look at my hands here, kind of pushing the band so it's not like straining my neck here, pushing the band away from me just a little bit. Okay, so you guys pick your style but make sure that we bend down whatever style that you're gonna do here, okay? Squats, three, two, one, let's go. For this style here, where I have it over my shoulders, okay, front side here, I like to keep my elbows pointing forward, okay, pointing at you guys, okay, because as soon as it goes down, this band is gonna wanna shrug down here. You kinda feel that, right? You kinda feel that band like pushing you down, and then you're gonna have to push yourself back up here. Excellent. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's even score five reps. Nice work, guys. Good flow there, Vic. Okay, we'll work three, two, one, and make sure that we bend our knees to let the band go, okay? Be safe about it. Don't just be upright and snap that band down, okay? He'll slap your feet. Okay, so the equivalent to that one here, okay, is we're gonna work our goblet squat. So we can pick up one weight and have it here. If you guys got two lighter weights, you can work that front squat and have it on your shoulders and work here. Okay, but the same pattern, just different tool. Okay, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Just under 15, guys. Three, two, one, and let's rest here. Okay, so just like before, love to kind of see what you guys pick and choose. So we have the X walks as one movement or the sumo squats with your weights as a movement, okay? No personal preference of mine, I love them both. But I'm just gonna work the X-Walk for the first one. Okay, 
you guys choose. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm using like a, a little experiment to kind of see what, which ones give you guys a better workout. Okay? X walks or sumo squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, X walk, the definitive winner here for this class. Really nice job. Okay, and just a love to kind of see a pickup of speed here. And none of the, nobody's doing this so far, but just in case maybe you start to fatigue a little bit, but we're not like swaying our upper body. Upper body staying nice and upright here. Yeah, Shauna, amazing. Taking that huge, huge step to the side. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one, and keep your bands handy. If you're gonna do band squats, putting it over your shoulders or putting it around your neck, okay, go for it, okay? Like I said, I'm just gonna just kind of mix up my training here. I'm gonna work my goblet squat game. You guys can work your goblet squat if that's the one that you prefer, okay? Kind of like a choose your own adventure today with the workout. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh wow, band squats, amazing. Vic's got the goblet squat, amazing job. And either squat style that we're doing with the weight or without, right? It should not be the same tempo coming down and up. I should be popping up, driving my weight in the heels. Okay, coming up nice and strong. 12 more seconds. Okay, another four, three, two, one. And we can rest here, very nice. So, okay, I want us to now start to kind of work our chest, our shoulders, um, and some coordination in a little bit here. But before I do, I wanna kind of take a little bit of a non-traditional approach and work uh, some of our smaller, finer muscles uh, first before we, before we drop down to the floor here. Okay, so, the first one, our classic kickback that we're gonna work here. Okay, and I'm going to be here. My right arm, right side. Okay, working my kickbacks like so, okay? I'm gonna keep this round a little bit shorter so we have enough time to get down to the ground. So 20 seconds, and then we're gonna kick back with our band after, okay? 20 and 20. Ready? Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, making that arm super straight. I want some intensity as you guys are kicking yourself back here. Okay, elbows are super straight. Oh, nice. Three, two, one. I want you to pull yourself back up. Okay, we're gonna place the band on our left foot and I'm going to grab with my right hand. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna go back to that same position. Okay, and you're gonna see that you need a little bit more a little bit more oomph, a little bit oomph to, to kind of really kick that back here, okay? We make it harder by grabbing a little bit closer to our foot here, okay? So see where you are. I'm making sure that you guys have a super straight arm though. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Kicking back, super straight arm. Nice, Sue, I think we can grab a little bit closer down to our foot. Maybe just take a, another handful down, yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. Sean has got some good tension over there. Okay, keep pulling and pushing this back here. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna pull up, okay? I'm gonna drop the band down, and now I'm gonna work a curl here. Okay, so a curl, I'm gonna take my one weight, and I'm just gonna be the one where my palm is, if I had had no weight, my palm would be facing you. Okay, and I'm going to curl this way, no 21s or anything like that. I'm just gonna work 20 seconds worth of curls here. Okay, and just one little thing too. If you curl your wrist in, okay, that's gonna get a lot more blood flowing into your arms. Okay, you'll get a lot more out of it, okay, whether you're working on a lightweight, heavyweight. Okay, so try, you don't have to like curl like crazy here, but just give it like a little curl here, take some of that pressure off your wrist. 
Okay, let's give that a try. Three, two, one, let's go. My shoulders, I want to keep nice and even. Yes, very nice. Oh, I love the speed. I love how everyone is extending their arm all the way down so that we have to curl ourselves back up for another four, three, two, and we're gonna rest. Okay, so let's pick up our I'm gonna put it underneath my right foot this time. And we're gonna do a hammer curl with our band, a hammer curl with our band as if we are holding a hammer, okay, uh, is how we're gonna grip. I prefer, I'm gonna get a little close to the camera, guys. Okay, I prefer this grip where I'm holding the band like this, as opposed to some people kind of stick their hand in between and they kind of do it this way. I, I personally, that's not, that's not wrong. I personally just find it much easier on my hands this way, plus I kind of build some grip strength with it as well. Okay, so we can make it harder by grabbing a little bit lower and working those hammer curls like so, okay? Let's get ready. Hammer curls, 20 seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Nice work. 10 more seconds. Okay, three, two, one, and I think our right arm is sufficiently worked out here. Let us quickly pick up our left. Okay, our left kickbacks here, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Kicking back, 20 seconds. Remember, we're just bringing that arm back down to 90 degrees. Okay, making sure that we're not bringing this anywhere close to our face or anything like that. Nice work, guys. Excellent. Okay, another three, two, one. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna lace the band underneath my right foot so I can pick up and grab with my left, working those same kickbacks. Let's see you guys. You guys already quickly set up here. Very nice. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, making sure that we straighten the arm. The straightening of the arm is the most important part in that kickback. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one, and let's pick up our weight, our left arm. Okay, our left bicep getting a little bit of love here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, we're curling the weight in. Okay, eight more seconds. Ooh, this left arm's done quite a bit of work here today. Feeling it now. Okay, three, two, one. And I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna grab my band, put it underneath my left foot, curl the weight. Remember, the lower we grab, okay, the harder it's going to be. Ready, curling, hammer curl style. Hold it like a hammer. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice. Okay, I'm loving how like nobody's like just whipping the like letting the band just kind of like whip their arm down. Okay, it's nice and steady coming all the way up and down your form everybody. So good. So so good. Who would have thought we could learn all this stuff virtually. Amazing guys. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one. And let's come down to the floor for the final one over here. As promised, Okay, working some of the, uh, we're, some, we're finally kind of finishing off working some of the bigger muscles here. And uh, there's two ways we can do it. There's uh, one kind of an intermediate way, and way here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love to kind of show you guys both. So I'm going to work a fly 
with my band. So I'm going to place it underneath my back. Okay. So look how I grab the band. I grab it like, like how, how I usually would grab it, just like I did with the bicep curl. My arms are going to be straight up. Okay. Which is kind of part, kind of part of hard or kind of the hard part of the move, right? Even just kind of having your arms up. I'm going to fly myself open just like we would do with our dumbbells. And then we'll bring it in. If you find that it's too hard on your wrists, then I want you to grab your weights instead and then work the fly that way. Cause that is one of like, uh, I'll say one of the disadvantages to this style of the style of movement. Okay. The other option that you have, let's say, okay, you know what? I don't want to do the flies today. Hey, okay, you, and you want to kind of finish off nice and strong, always placing this from the bottom here. I'm going to place this on my back. Okay, I'm going to be working a nice steady push up from here. It's a weighted push up. Okay, or I can be on my knees and then work weighted from here. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what we can work here, guys. Okay, so we got weighted flies, we got banded flies, we can work weight, uh, banded push ups, okay, or regular push ups, planks. Give me something upper body here, okay, to finish yourself off here. Everybody ready? I'm going to work push-ups first and I'm going to move to the flies. If you guys want to do the same, okay, be my guest. I'm going to work 15 and 15. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, nice. Sean and Sue, those are some amazing flies. I would just maybe love a little bit of a faster pace. 15 seconds. Oh, Vic's working that push up game. Nice work, guys. Okay, let's keep it going. Keep that arm super straight, guys. Okay, another five, four, three, two, one, and we can rest here. Okay. I think I said that was the last move, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, I kind of fibbed here a little bit. If, 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 that, if that's what I said, I, I didn't mean it. Okay, I just want us to kind of finish off on a little bit of a higher note. And since uh, I, I'm one, one chest movement short today, okay, so just kind of make it a little bit of a quicker pace move here. We're going to work our burpees for the final 20 seconds from the floor. So this way we are pushing into the floor and making our way up. Okay. Our goal will be okay to get, you know, four burpees, four burpees in 20 seconds. I think pretty reasonable. Anything more bonus guys. Okay. So start on the floor with me, 20 seconds. It doesn't have to be super fast. I'm looking more so for that push off the ground guys. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. We had uh, we were celebrating a birthday in the class before 37 burpees for a 37 year old team member. Are we celebrating birthdays today? Oh, I see heads shaking and nobody wants to admit it. Even if they did seven seconds. Three, two, one. And that is time guys. Okay. Finish on your feet. Before I let you guys go, I'll let you guys know what's on tap for tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we're doing a big mobility day. So it's a little bit more movement, working out our hips, our glutes on a Wednesday. And uh, this is our last week of working out here for this month, for the month of February. So expect Thursday and Friday to be pretty, pretty high tempo. So be ready for that. And then in March, when we start our new season, I kind of want us to remix our workout up just a little bit. I have some amazing challenges that I kind of pulled from here and there and some are made up. So, you know, something to kind of work towards, uh, in the coming month in March. Okay. Three, big, three big deep breaths to finish guys. Really good hustle today. Breathing in, coming down, second breath all the way up, reach with those arms. We just finished with a bunch of arms, chest, feel that stretch. Last one, breathing in and down. Very nice job, guys. Good hustle today. A big virtual high five to you guys. Appreciate y'all. Vic, Shauna, Sue, thank you guys. Okay, I love, I love the effort today. Okay, have a good one.